Hey everybody, welcome back to Tired Old Queen at the Movies. It is a beautiful sunny day. Let's go see our beautiful sunny Steve. Ah, <laughs> Jenny! <laughs> drum boogie, drum boogie, Tired Old Queen at the Movies. Oh, Johnny, I wanted to do one of my favorite Billy Wilder sort of comedies, so I have chosen Billy Wilder and Charles Brackett's script to Howard Hawks's Ball of Fire, which was made in 1941 with Gary Cooper and Barbara Stanwyck. Heidi ho Howard Hawks decided that they were going to do a comedy, and he said, well, we'll let's do, Billy Wilder said, we'll do a version of Snow White and the Seven Dwarfs. So that's what this is. And Barbara Stanwyck and Gary Cooper were a great team together. They had done Frank Capra's Meet John Doe, and they really, really liked each other. Gary Cooper had a great, great uh, love of Barbara Stanwyck. You see, dust just piles up on their hearts, and it took you to blow it away. Stanwyck was not originally offered this role, surprisingly enough, uh, because people didn't really think she could do comedy. The word is corny. Yeah, wouldn't you say they were corny? Because of the cornstarch in them? Because it's 1941. Then corny means old-fashioned. Mm, kind of hick, loose tooth. Modimus Nard. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This part was originally offered to Ginger Rogers, because Ginger Rogers had just won an Oscar for Kitty Foyle. But Ginger wanted to play Lady. She had come from the chorus, and she didn't want to be a chorus girl anymore. And she said, I don't want to play anybody common. And they said to Stanwyck, are you interested in this? And Stanwyck said, I'll play common. I am common. Let's go. Listen, I figured I'm working all night. So <laughs> they gave it to her. And in this movie, she plays a character named Sugar Puss O'Shea. Now, <laughs> Sugar Puss O'Shea is is a nightclub singer. She's also a gun mouth. Take it on a land. Yeah, they're looking for you. Who? The district attorney's Why? Office. You gotta get dressed and out of here before they slap a subpoena on you. A subpoena? Shh. Shh. Come on, we'll talk about the dressing. Gary Cooper is with all these wonderful, wonderful character actors. And they're all, these are the, the seven, the version of the seven dwarves. And they, these are all professors. And they're writing a dictionary on slang. And they want to find out about 40 slang. To tap the sources of slang, the major sources. So Gary Cooper goes to a nightclub and he watches Barbara Stanwyck sing this number called Drum Boogie, which is so hot with Gene Krupa and his orchestra. Drum boogie, drum boogie, the cat's a killer diller. Drum boogie, drum boogie, the cat's a killer diller. Drum boogie, drum boogie, the drum boogie boogie. He offers to have her come back because he wants to study her. Well, her boyfriend, played by Dana Andrews. Now, Joe, it's five o'clock in the morning. That's about a little Benzedrine. Is on the lamb. So he says, uh, you got to hide out, Shuggy. So she goes to this house and she hides out with these professors. These professors were made up of some of the best comic character actors in Hollywood. S.Z. Cuddle Sakal, the one who always, with the Austrian actor who was always, Oh, hunky dinky, what's your monkey, what's your monkey? He's so, he is so cute. Professor Pats didn't tell you. No, and I want to know. And this guy named Richard Hayden, who was, he played the press agent guy in Sound of Music. That's where you might know him from. But he was this gay actor who, when he wanted to do comic roles, he would put on this voice, like this, and he'd talk, like this, and he goes through, oh, oh. Who's staying with us? Well, I, well, I, uh, oh, dear. Every one of these character actors is adorable, and Gary Cooper is so sweet and innocent and hot in this movie, you are not going to believe it. The sexual chemistry between these two is so terrific. Bad. Oh, that's perfect. What are you going to do? Come here. I'm going to show you what yum yum is. Here's yum. Here's the other yum. And here's yum yum. Well, she gets there and completely disrupts their world. She teaches them how to conga. She teaches them all this slang. You know, everything is, if she's got the hat for somebody, she's got, they do the hoi toy toy. Or she thinks somebody's yum yum. And, and gradually, Gary Cooper falls in love with her. This movie is paced at a really great clip, like most of Hawks' films. But it has that really wonderful Billy Wilder kind of sardonic humor and dialogue. And Stanwyck really got to be sexy. She comes in and she, Edith had designed this outfit for her where she has her bare midriff, you know. She's got this these bangs and this incredible hair and it's all 
glamour glossy and it's all glittery and she sits down and she's trying to talk the boys and taking her in for the night and she takes her stocking off in front of gary cooper and she goes here now feel this foot he says well it's it's cold it's cold and it's wet now look down here come on closer and he, he gets a little closer she goes closer and he gets a little closer and she goes look and one of the professors says, oh, she's, she's got a red throat. It's as red as the daily worker and just as sore. Are you kidding? I'm a cinch for streptococci. <laughs> Thank you. Hi to you, old fella. You are going to be charmed and adore Samuel Goldwyn's production, Howard Hawks's direction, and Billy Wilder and Charles Brackett's incredible script. One, two, three. Ooh. With Gary Cooper. And Barbara Stanwyck in Ball of Fire. <laughs> Let's all go to the lobby. The Let's best character actors in the lobby. in the business. And Samuel Goldwyn's <laughs> Do you believe I did that? Corn can't be beat. <laughs>